If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video so let's get into it. Okay so today I have some more news surrounding certain aspects of the Age of Triumph. So let's start with the new updated Necrochasm. It has been confirmed that this weapon will be obtainable via a new exotic quest line. It was confirmed multiple times yesterday via Josh Hamrick on Twitter. Now he was asked if the host can appear or the crux of Crota will be a part of this actual Necrochasm exotic quest line. He couldn't confirm anything but he did advise us not to get rid of them just in case. So if you guys have a host can appear, if you have a crux of Crota or even a year one Necrochasm, I'd advise you not to delete them just in case. Josh also mentioned that the Vex Mythical class will drop as normal from Atheon, so no new exotic quest for that. Josh Hamrick also confirmed that the Pocket Infinity will not be making any kind of return, which I just don't understand. I mean, surely they could have done something to make this weapon fit back in, but hey, I'm sure Bungie have their reasons. I mean, I remember this back in the day, before it was nerfed, I mean, it was an absolute beast and people loved it. They did nerf it and since that nerf, I never really used it, but it seems as though people still love the weapon and want to see it return, so I just don't understand this, but hey, it is what it is. Another piece of great news which came after the stream yesterday is the fact that the water glass raid armor will be standard in design without ornaments applied to it. So basically it will look exactly as it did back in year one without ornaments applied, which is amazing news to me. I mean, my hunter's water glass gear is something I have cherished since the day I obtained it way, way, way back. And I still have it as you can see on screen now. Don't know what the fuck I did with my cloak though. I must have deleted it, but still that's easy to obtain. I'm guessing as well this will be the same with the Crotus Engia, without ornaments applied to it, it will look like it did in year one, which is great news. Now do you guys remember, probably over a year ago, now actually it was over a year ago, back when there was a leaked water glass armour which looked blue within the icons. On screen now you can see a compilation of these leaked icons from way 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 back. I took these from a video I made covering these armours before the Taken King was released and it was actually um, speculated at the time that the water glass may return with the Taken King but it never, but these armours were taken from the database I believe. So they were legit. Do you think it will be the blue variants of these armors we will actually see with the return of the Vault Glass within the Age of Triumph? And it's this armor which has always been there, but held back, set for whenever these raids return. Who knows, me personally though, I'd rather see the standard stuff return, as it means I can delete my previous shit and make Vault Space, because fuck me, we're going to need it for damn sure with all the new shit that's coming. Now within Bungie's free streams on the Age of Triumph, there was no real mention of the Challenge of the Elders, uh, but we know it's coming back and it's reworked, and we know it's returned as a weekly ritual, but to what extent has it been changed? Uh, will it have new adept weapons added? Will it have new armors? Will there be a change in mechanics? Has anything been changed? Bungie hasn't really mentioned anything. Are they leaving it as a surprise for us or will it be the exact same as it was? Who knows? But guys, that is it for the info that dropped after the live stream by Bungie. If anything else drops, I'll have you guys covered. So subscribe if you're new around here, turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong